no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon raised against you will prosper because you are going to overcome this rejection. The reality is there is absolutely no one on the face of this earth. Not you, not me, not our parents, not our teachers, not our mentors, not even a two, three, four year old that you sent to school that should be so innocent and live in a nice little peaceful world. There's none of us on the face of this earth that hasn't been rejected. We've all at some point in our lives felt rejection. When I entered high school, I was very, very excited about music, music, acting, dancing, you name it. I was just very excited because I was coming from Excelsior Primary and I was a part of a winning choir. We entered festival and it was always goal, 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 goal. Um, for drama, same thing, like nothing changed. It was the same thing over and over again. So. By the time I got to high school now, I was like, yeah, I want to continue doing this. I want to sing, I want to act, I want to dance. Okay, went to audition for the school choir. And I remember being told, no, she doesn't have that thing in her voice. And I never forgot it because I'm going to tell you, that's what was said. But what I heard and what I felt in that moment was, no you're just not good enough for this no you really just missed the mark for this no if you needed to be at a hundred mm, you're not quite there no mind you this may not have been what the choir master meant and i can receive and respect that no as a mature person but at 11 mm -mm. That's not what it felt like to me. And rejection pop up and show itself in a lot of different ways for people. And it don't mean that people get over it because we think they should get over it or because wonderful things happen or because wonderful things happen somewhere in their career so they must just say, oh, you have so many successes so you can't really count on the failure. It hurts because it hurts and it hurts. And until we're completely really healed from a lot of these things, then they continue to show up in other areas of our lives because there are certain things no matter how you know all the intellectual answers to get over it it just really don't get you there and nobody can't get you there faster than you're about to get there so be very kind and patient with yourself one understand that rejection could be redirection sometimes we are rejected and things don't happen a certain way in life because another direction they waited for going on and I, 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 I don't want to minimize it to just relationships, but I think it's probably my best example. You may have been pursuing this thing and wanting this thing and wanting this person or even a job. You may think this is the only job I want or, you know, I want to play sports and I'm going to go play pro sports and this is what I want to do. And you just never met that team. And you try and try and try and you never met the team. Or you try for this managerial position or you try for something, you got sick. You lost the job. They hired somebody who was obviously less qualified than you. It never worked. And you felt like I wasn't good enough. It just didn't happen. And then two, three months later, something popped up out of nowhere. Something so unexpected that you're like, wow, imagine if me did really sit down and probably go pursue this specific thing in school i would have never experienced that i would have never been able to serve and help in this specific way so remember rejection can actually be a re redirection and then rejection can also be for your protection you know we we, we don't think about it that way but sometimes there are some people and and especially friends that we choose and and this is the stuff we have to be so careful i know it's like rejection of two cousins one named shame and one named guilt and they walk together believe me when i tell you that they walk together so say, sometimes when when you are rejected from a certain crowd it's not a bad thing because i've seen people who have been rejected and in dealing with them rejection turn to all kind of things some people turn to alcohol some people turn to to drugs some people and our society supports it and i think it's quite our society supports it and i think it's quite stupid 
a lot of them turn to 36. Now, they're not going to tell you, they're going to tell you, I have girl enough, enough girl in a bungle. But deep within that, you don't, you don't have, all right, do the max. Most men, or most people who you know, who does sleep with everybody, all over the place with everybody, and even the ones that may not be doing it as frequently, break down to the core of what are they trying to satisfy? Love is what we're all seeking. Love in a meaningful, deep way that we can say, yes, your person is not going to leave. Your person is not going to This person is going to be there. They're going to love with just as we are. Big forehead, um, big foot, <laughs> um, nappy hair, big lip, thick nose, bumps on our face. It don't matter. That person will love us as we are. But the truth is, even the person that you marry, even your mother, even your father, even your sister, you're gonna be rejected at some level. Like maybe that mother was hurt in a specific way. So she pushed it over on her child to be tough. No, that is not the child experience, you know. But what she's doing is she's trying to ensure that she's preparing that child for the world and she's toughening that child up because the world is gonna be hard at you and I'm preparing you to do that. Don't work. If you feel that pit in the tank with love, that is the only counter I have seen. And that's why I feel like if we can consistently and genuinely love on people, reach out to people, the person that is a little bit snappy, the person that is a little bit bitter, because the last thing you want in is things like anger and resentment to get deeply rooted in anything. There has been statistics and studies that show that even men who are violent against women I come from a place of rejection and while I can't give you numbers I'm sure if we dug deep enough we would probably see some correlation in the level of violence against women we have in Jamaica and when we break it down we have to look at were the mothers rejected or felt rejected by the father and as a result of that was there something specific that was done to the child maybe like shaming them like women have a way where we talk loud and we, and we load up and we embarrass the picnic because we say we have to correct them and our punishment become embarrassment and while a child may not be able to go against you and say not, not 10, 12, 11, 12, 13 now you imagine when you end up in a relationship with a woman and something happen and then she flip on him all I'm doing is go back somewhere in her computer to say okay oh you're loud thing yeah I couldn't do nothing about it at 13 and he may say stop and he may say stop and he may say stop and before you know it he does something ridiculous before you know it we end up with somebody getting physically hurt so you know it, it rejection just keeps showing up in ways that we have to we have to be so so intentional and so very deliberate no it don't matter if somebody be cheap for you next it don't matter if somebody tell you never good next it don't matter if the group or the friends you are trying to be a part of this specific group in school or at work or at church or whatever organization, if them never embrace you, next. Do not waste your healthy good years trying to fight these battles on your own. Remember, no weapon found against you, no weapon raised against you will ever, ever prosper. You have to remember that. Do you want to hold on to pain? Or do you want to pursue promise? Simple. Do you want to hold on to the excuses? Do you want to hold on to the pain? And someone have been sitting down and steaming and stewing and wallowing in that pain from the rejection or the person that left. Someone actually in relationship with people right now and still stewing off of the bitterness and the problem and the pain from a man where either Una left or them left two, three, four, five, ten years ago. You may be, this may be like your, your third proper relationship and you're still a steward for the one we done 10, 15 years ago. And it's not fair to you. It's not fair to the person. And worse if you're in a, a situation where you have children with the current person, it's not fair to, it, you just, you're not living. You're not living. So I don't want to know, sit down out there and I've watch all of these celebrities and everybody come and post and put up them highlight reel and all the wonderful things that them take all of us have been rejected it hurts like hell it hurts like 
hell. And there are days you feel strong about it. And there are days when you're weak and you don't feel so good. You still feel like, man, you know, I wish I could have done this. But it's a process. It's a process. It's like, if you bruise your foot, it will take a while to heal. And emotional hurt, what makes it so hard, is it concealed. And, and just be patient and forgiving, even to our parents. Because you may realize that some of the biggest damage done to us started as children and it started with our parents but be kind to them because they too may have been hurt as children and didn't have any kind of outlet the technology has opened up in a way where we can communicate with each other share with each other and help to support each other in a way that was not previously there it's like if you never have money for a counselor dog name your supper but at least there are little bits and things to sustain us but i tell you one thing that never fails is that thing called the Bible. May I tell you, just go read your Bible. Read your Bible. And over time, you realize, because changing of your life is a renewal of your mind. It's not something automatic. It's not something automatic. It takes time. But you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Now I want you to type and tell me in the comment section below Have you ever been rejected by someone or a group or an organization But it turned out that this was like a blessing in disguise Maybe it was your protection Maybe it was your redirection Maybe it was just setting you up to get to a different level and a different path where you needed to go Share below, I'd love to know And if there is somebody who needs to hear this message Go ahead and tag them in this but the one thing I wanted to leave with you, and I want you to say it after me. I. No, I don't want to look at the finger either. One more time. I. Am. Enough. No, say the whole thing. I. Am. Enough. You are enough. You are enough. You are made whole. You are made good and perfect and God have plans to prosper you. This was even before you come out to your mother's womb. Thank you so much for checking out A Cup A Day. And if you want these in your inbox, let me tell you, go to my website. Go to my website, www.shereenanderson.com and put your details in. Don't be afraid. So, Reach out and touch yeah, the sky thank you. It's there. Unlock the goodness, unlock the greatness, unlock the power, unlock the good things in you, yeah, everything must come true.